I'm Steve Post from Wing Nation, and this is our Dry Dean Salute to Champions. We're doing it all off-season as we honor some of the top drivers from across the country, and this time we are talking about the IRA bumper-to-bumper -bumper sprint. Steve Clinton, easy for me to say, Steve Sinclair's group up primarily in the state of Wisconsin, but up in that part of the country. The IRA actually began in the mid-1960s. They started racing. It was, it was called the Interstate Racing Association, which it still is. It was interstate because it was southeast Wisconsin and northern uh, Illinois. First few years, they ran super modifieds, and they actually ran on dirt tracks and asphalt tracks. When they got into the mid-70s, it was all sprint cars and all dirt tracks, and they have been knocking it out ever since spent a lot of time at wilmont speedway and then about 1993 they decided to make this thing a full-blown tour and it's been great great racing ever since and a great year they had 27 races were completed this year started april 10th at 34 raceway ran through the plymouth dirt track in sheboygan on september 25th 124 drivers competed in an ira show this year what a stout stout number that is and the champion Jake Blackhurst, who was also the 2018 champion. Jake had three wins this season, 15 top five finishes, and he was the only driver to qualify for all 27 A mains. He's our guest, Jake Blackhurst. We'll talk to him here on our Driving Salute to Champions. Team Dryden. It is our Dry Dean salute to champions, and let's talk about the IRA bumper to bumper sprints. What a season they had, and what a season Jake Blackhurst has. He joins us here on our call. Jake, welcome into Wing Nation. Thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. Man, I'll tell you what, um, when I look at your season, three wins, 15 top fives. Uh, looks good to me. There's a championship there, but kind of assess it from your perspective. I thought it was a good year. You know, I, I feel like we could have had some more wins. You know, that's the goal for everybody. But, you know, we got a championship. Another year, another new team. You know, it seems like, you know, once me and dad kind of hanged up our family operation, I've been in and out of cars, you know. And uh, it, it, it's crazy to me how some of those outlaw guys and all those guys on the road can do it. You know, how they can jump into something and be so good. It's so hard to adapt to a new team's you know, new people, new, I mean, every car is different. So, you know, the first couple of nights were, um, you know, we're trying, you know, we were good, but we weren't great. And, uh, you know, we started clicking off real well. Craig and uh, Mike Erder and Rosie, they did a phenomenal job. And uh, we actually got really fast towards the end of the year. Wish we could have popped off a few more wins, but, you know, a championship was our main goal and we accomplished that. So I'm really happy. Yeah, you talk about it. I, when I look at your stats from the season, I jotted this down. First half, you were close a lot. Um, five second place finishes. You hit July 23rd at Atagami and you won that race. And after that, everything within one race, I, I think it was top eight finishes. You had all your wins in there. You guys did seem to really hit the second half of the season pretty strong. Yeah, we did. Once we finally clicked off that first win at Atagami, uh, I just, just got my confidence built back up. You know, it'd been, it'd been a while since I've gotten a win. Actually, I think they said it was almost, uh, I think it was about 11 months or so from the prior year. So I was getting a little discouraged, you know, and, uh, you know, especially running, you know, some all-star shows and some outlaw guys, those guys are incredible and they can really beat you up. But, uh, you know, we kept digging, got our first win and then got really comfortable. Uh, I think, I think, like you said, after that win, we were on the podium almost every race and a couple of them. I, uh, had some mechanical fears that knocked out, knocked us out. I think of another podium, but, uh, you know, that's okay. That happens. It was a great year. Yeah, yeah, it really is. So I, I want to talk a little bit about that. You talked about the confidence after that first win of the season. You had five second place finishes up to that, but boy, there's a big difference in confidence between first and second, isn't there? Oh, man, I think we ended up with nine second places overall this year. And I'm yeah. talking, I looked, at, I was talking to Craig. I said, I said, this is for, you know, when I first started doing sprint car racing, I just wanted to go have fun, you know, just be competitive. Now I'm going in the trailer. I'm, I'm upset and I'm mad for getting second, but that's a good problem. You know, uh, nine second places. I think we were right there on every one of them. 
but you know, we just got beat and now, uh, you know, that's what it is, what it is, you know, next year, I, hopefully we can click off a few more. Yeah. Getting involved with the Ryan auto team. Um, how did that all come about? And, uh, and obviously it's worked well for you, but um, you know, the, the team dynamic you talked about at the new cars and everything like that, how did that come about? They, they've been around the sport for quite some time up there. Yeah, definitely. They, uh, um, them, him and Bill Baylog, they definitely got a name for themselves the past five years or so. He definitely dominated, but uh, it's just, I you know, became good friends. It was a friendship. Uh, you know, I always watch, I always, you know, Bill with the IRA, you know, I watched every lap he ever did, you know, try to learn. And I uh, just, we got a good friendship with uh, the, all, the whole crew and they, they talked to him over the winter and uh, obviously Bill was planning on going and doing his own thing. And it just gave me a perfect opportunity to get in. And uh, you know, it's, the best thing is, is we're good friends, you know, and it's not just like I'm showing up to race, you know, we keep in touch throughout the week all the time, help work on race cars and whatnot. And uh, yeah, Bill just going off and doing his own thing kind of opened the door for me. And, um, you know, it's been, it's been wonderful. You know, I've learned a lot. They learned a lot. You wouldn't think actually, you know, they got it. They've had all those years with Bill and, you know, you kind of go off, you know, what he's liked and his notes and everything. And for them to completely adjust to my driving style, and do what we did this year is, you know, just, just hats off to them. They did a great job. What was the pressure like getting into Bill's car for IRA? Because I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a freaking 10 time champion. Come on now. What was the pressure like to do that? I was a little nervous at first, you know, but you try not to think of that, you know, Bill, Bill, he's always going to be the king of Wisconsin. No, you know, someone else could go win 15 championships. Bill has his name up there. He's, he's, you know, he's the best there is up there, you know, and you just, like, you know, he can't live up, try to think of living up to his stand or, you know, what, what he did. I just, you know, I go in there every night, try to do the best I can and uh, build on each night and do better. We had a weird season and we talked a lot about this coming into, um, coming into the, um, the season. You had the all-star, it's just kind of like a chain of events, if you will. The all-stars, you had Aaron Reitzel moving over to the, uh, to the world of outlaws, which kind of opened things up at the all-stars. With IRA, you had Bill moving on to the All Stars, which he ended up fifth in points, so he had a good season. Were you guys kind of looking at this like uh, kind of open season for you guys up there with, uh, with 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 Bill moving on to something else? My goal was to try and be competitive and beat Bill one time he was up there, you know. And okay, to see yeah. him leave, to see him leave, I mean, it's you know, it's it, it makes it a lot easier for us drivers up there, obviously, you know, because yeah. most of us just like to do it for fun, but. Uh, you know, also, he, he gave every one of us a chip on our shoulder, you know, to go out there and be better every night. But, um, no, you know, I just – I have fun running with the IRA. It's close to home. You know, I – full-time job, always busy. So, it, you know, I, everything just worked out perfectly. Yeah, yeah, it really does. It's, it's, it's always interesting when you have that and someone stepping aside. And, uh, yeah, the next task is to uh, – the next task is to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Baylog and whoop them up there in Wisconsin. But that, the IRA series – and I've, I've had a couple of your races over the course of the last few years. I mean, you guys have got a really good thing going on up there for a, for a regional tour, for a guy like you that works to wants to run 410 sprint cars. Yeah, they do a fantastic job. I love uh, – I think Steve Sinclair does a wonderful job, his whole group. You know, it, uh, every, all the races are within – you know, four or five hours. And uh, I'm right here in central Illinois. It's about the closest thing I can do to run, you know, 30 to 35 races a year. So it's perfect. And uh, I just think they do such a good job and that they, they got a great group of, it's a great group of people. And I have fun, you know, it's like when I go up to Wisconsin, I tell everybody it's home away from home. So I enjoy it. They make me feel comfortable and it's just fun racing up there every weekend. Sounds good. Now you are from Illinois, but I see you also occasionally go to Wisconsin for your beloved Green Bay Packers. You're a Packers That's fan, right. are you? I actually was born a Packers fan. So my dad, my dad's name Paul was named after Paul Horning, and my uncle is named after Vince Lombardi. So we've uh, we've been true Green Bay Packers fans for a long time. Uh, I think I, Dad said he wanted to name me Brett, but Mom said no. So. <laughs> Wow, yep. man, oh man, yeah, that'd have been a little awkward when when Favre went to the Vikings. That'd have been a little awkward if they'd have named. Yeah, it wouldn't like that one. Yeah, that'd have been different. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for <laughs> sure. That's neat. Now I saw some pictures on one of your social media channels about you guys up at a Packers game, and uh, that is cool. I, I didn't realize all the family was named after famous Packers. That's pretty neat, though. Yeah, I guess so. Well, Jake, I'll tell you what, uh, really appreciate you taking some time out. We're saluting all the champions. Congratulations on your championship. Um, is it the, you, do, do, do you guys have next year planned out already? Are you still working on that or how's things looking for the future? 
Um, I think we're just going to plan on doing, you know, pretty much the same thing. Maybe go hit more races in the local area. Last year, we didn't go to, you know, like Cedar Lake where the Outlaws went or um, the Jackson Nationals. We might be able to get out there and have hit a few more races closer to home. Hopefully, we can get a few more races, you know, but we'll probably be in that 30, 35, 40 races again and try to maybe go for another IRA championship. Nothing wrong with that. Winning the championship, winning races, lots of podium finishes, a great, great season. We really appreciate it. Jake, thanks for joining us here on our uh, Dry Dean Salute to Champions. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on here. There we go. The IRA Bumper to Bumper Sprint Champion, Jake Blackhurst, part of our Dry Dean Salute to Champions. <laughs> Team Dryden. Great to catch up with Jake Blackhurst and what a season he had up there. Jake was the point winner, the championship winner. Scotty Neitzel finished second in points. Jeremy Schultz was third in the standings. Russell Borland and Jordan Goldsberry were your top five finishers in the IRA points. When we look at winners, well, Bill Baylog might have gone away as far as the championship battle goes. He popped, back, he popped back in a few times. He had five wins. Scotty Thiel had four wins. Jake, we talked about. Jake Blackhurst and Scotty Neitzel had three wins. Two wins for Noah Gass, Brooke Tattnall, and Tyler Courtney. Some of these were co-sanctioned races with the All-Stars. And single race wins for the IRA. Jordan Goldsberry, Rob Prim, uh, Pribnow, Blake Nemi, Mike Renke, Carson Short, and Kyle Reinhardt. Remember that win that Kyle Reinhardt had in that co-sanctioned deal with the All-Stars as well. So a great, great season for the IRA bumper-to-bumper -bumper sprints. And I am fairly certain that Steve Sinclair is putting together a banner season for 2022. We appreciate Jake Blackhurst joining us here on our Dry Dean Wing Nation Salute to Champions. More important, though, than all of that, thank you for joining us here this time.